Right, hey guys, Rod from Origin Campus here. Just over here doing a bit of uh, exploring. And uh, we've got our new camper trailer. We brought that out for a bit of a test run. See how it's going. It's uh, pretty much first time out. It's about a week old. Week off just been registered, this one, for the first time. So, thought to do a quick run around and show you guys what it looks like. Uh, very similar to the, the rear entry one that we've got. This one here is the original teardrop style. This one was sporting an alloy rim. Got the same setup with the fridge slide, a little different on this one. And um, we've done away with the kitchen in the front on this one. So we've got storage in there, slightly narrower. We'll have a look inside. Inside we've got basically a queen size bed in there. We've got storage up the back. I don't know whether you can see that. Uh, this covers up the back. The ceiling fan. We've got USB in the middle. Drink holders, plenty of storage up there. So, um, quite a good little unit. We took it away on the weekend. As you can tell, it's quite dusty. We'd like to test our trailers, see how they go. And um, this one worked really well, as they should. We've got um, drop down rear legs there. We've got storage here. Now, I've shown you this type of storage before. It does go all the way through and it's quite deep. So you can fit quite a few things in there. All those little loose bits that you're always wondering what to do with, where to put them. Put them in there. Again, checker plate guards, 3mm thick. Plenty strong enough to stand on. So you can get up to your roof racks. So you want to put a rooftop tent up there, you can get up there and undo it. Battery system, 140 amp AGM, 16 amp charger, projector, our on off switch, everything's fused. Everything has fuses, earth and positive. All the red wires running into the batteries run off fuses. Charging point, take the cap off there. Put your 12, uh, 240 volt down there and hook it up so if it's raining, you can close that door and you don't get water in there. In here, we've got the portal loo at the moment, just to show you that it will hold a toilet in there. You put whatever, uh, whatever you want in there. Okay, so that's the new long range. So we've got two versions of this now. One has the side doors, as this one is, teardrop style, and the other one comes in through the rear. And this one I didn't show you just before, forgot about that, sorry. Has the kitchen in the rear. So a few different ideas in this one. Got a nice pull out drawer, keep pulling. And it'll pull out the extra bit of table. So when you pull up, got a good bit of area here to make your food, prep stuff up. Uh, plenty of storage up top. There is side cupboards to go in this one. Uh, they'll go in here somewhere. Uh, with your side tables in the middle that mount on the side here. If you have a look at our videos, you'll see those um, on other trailers, but we didn't have enough time, so we'll do that when we get back home. Again, 12 volt USB setup. All the cupboards have lights externally, sorry, not externally, in, um, in here. There's a light up there. Um, so at night time, you can see what you're diving around in there for. Just close that. 
show you how well this goes back. We make our own setups for the free slides. There you go. Got our storage rack up there. It does have a rubber mat on it, but we don't have it on there today. Alright guys, that's a quick look around this camper trail. Don't forget it does have a, a 120 litre water capacity. 140 amp AGM. And the ceiling fan inside that pulls the hot air out or blows the cool air down onto you. Alright guys, hope you like it. Let us know what you think. See you later.